everybody, Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Hope you're doing well. I'm back with my 1971 replay, and I'm going to have some stats as we go. Uh, we're in August. We finally made it to August. This is Sunday, August 1st, 1971. And it's going to be Tom Seaver versus Juan Pizarro. Yeah, Seaver 6'1", 206. Age 26 versus Pizarro, who's 5'11", weight 190, and age 34. So uh, Juan Pizarro a little bit long in the tooth compared to Seaver, eight years older. Um, two games started for Pizarro, 19 innings pitched, a 4.74 ERA. For Tom, terrific. He's got 22 starts, 191 innings pitched, a 1.46 ERA, and a 15-4 and record with an 0.8 a uh, whip, and his whip in reality, I, I believe, was 0.9, so it's very accurate so far. Um, top batter for the Mets is Tommy Agee at 318. Top batter for the um, Cubs is Glenn Beckert at 341. Home runs leaders for the teams, Billy Williams, 15. For the Cubs and for the Mets, it's Tommy Agee with 12. Stolen bases, it's Don Kessinger, 11, and Buddy Harrelson for the Mets with 20. So we're going to start off. We're going to play the ball game. Let me get some light going here. There you go. All right, let's get this going. And uh, let's look at some, uh, quickly, some... All right, the lineup for the Cubs is Kessinger, Beckert, and Williams, Pepitone, Hickman, and Popovich, Davis, Martin, and Pizarro. That's for the Cubs, All right? Let's do this. Here's Tom Terrific. Now, Tom Terrific today, I rolled for his stuff. He has A stuff, so we're using the A column. This is Fall Classic Baseball. And it's gonna be a 42, and a 42 is a, well, we're actually, we, yeah, this is correct. We look on the batter card first, it's blank. So now we're gonna look at Seaver, and it's an out. A one tells us it's a ball, ground ball, hit back to the pitcher, and Seaver handles that, throws out Kessinger, and that's one away. We've started the ball game, and we are into the second batter. Glenn Beckert with a 16. That's an out with a 19. That's a fly ball to right. You look at that nine, and that says fly ball to right. Under it is the right fielder, Tommy Agee. In the outfield for the Mets, you have A.G. in right, Don Hahn in center field, and the left field is Ken Singleton. Billy Williams now. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. Strike three, Billy Williams strikes out. That'll be a 51 KD defense check. The KD kicks in first, and with Seaver, it's one to six. We roll the one, so that's a strikeout instead of an error check. Had it been anything higher than... Seaver has one to six, like a seven or above, then it would have been a, we would pull a card and we would see what kind of an error. We'd look for 51, and then we would say, I use a combination of card and dice. It's the best way to play this game. All right, so that's the end of the first inning. Easy inning for Tom Terrific. There's no surprise there, right? All right, bottom of the first inning, and Don Hahn is up with an 11. And that's going to be an out. A 16 is a ground that is short. Picked up by Kessinger over to first in time to get Han, who is hustling down the line. Wayne Garrett now. He bats from the left side. Let's see what Garrett is doing for us. We're going to look at some. Let's quickly look at Garrett is batting 259. Pitch from Pizarro, 64-64. Pizarro is a B, and that'll be an out. The 20 says it's a line out to four, the second baseman, L4. Next is Tommy Agee. Pitch from the lefty Pizarro, a 44, and that's going to be ripped to center field for a base hit. Plus, he's going to get a, oh, it's maybe a pickoff. Juan Pizarro's arm is an S. <coughs> so he is an S, and we're going to look right here. The pickoffs right here. He's a left-handed pitcher with an S, a 1 to 12, and he will be picked off first base. And it is a 6, and he gets picked off. So a single by AG, and he's picked off by Pizarro. And we're going to write 1 6, and that we know it's a pickoff, and that's going to be no runs, one hit. We'll go to the top of the second inning. So we get a little bit about a little bit of everything in this game. Joe Pepitone, it's a 61, 
and Seeger is a strikeout. So he back-to-back -back K's so far for Tom Terrific. Having a spectacular 71. This was his best season ever. 13 and a 9, and that's a fly ball. Sky to right field under it is AG, and AG makes the catch out number two. And here's Paul Popovich with a 34, and that'll be an out. A 12 is a pop-up infield. That three is going to be a pop-up to the first baseman to end the inning. Three up, three down. Once again for Tom Terrific. All right, Juan Pizarro against Don Clendenin. Batting cleanup today. I didn't go over the lineups for the Mets. It's Han, Garrett, A.G., Clendenin, Singleton, and Grody. Foley, Harrelson, and Seaver. That's a 36. 36 is a blank, and it's an out. So 17, which is a fly to left. One down. And a Singleton with a 41. And I know that's almost an automatic walk, and it is. Singleton walks a lot, and he's on first base. Jerry Grody going to try to hit and run. There goes Singleton. A, and that's going to be a four. If Grody's an A, it's going to be a hit. But I think he's a B, and it won't be a hit. Instead, it's going to be a pop to third base. Back to first goes Singleton. Two down. And here's Ken, uh, Tim Foley with a 34. And that's an out. A 19 is popped up. Right field. Right there is Hickman. Jimmy Hickman makes the catch. No runs. No hits. One left. We went to the top of the third inning. Brock Davis now with a 31. And that's going to be a on the... Uh, it's a, no, it's okay. If it's an out, if it's a ground out, it would be no double play. That's all that means. But on Seaver's car, that's going to be a bouncing ball and through into right field for the first hit of the game against Seaver. Um. So had it been a right, had it been an out. There'd be no double play on that because uh, Davis did not hit into many double plays. <clears throat> That's all that meant. But it's still, I believe, it still can get through for a hit. All right, here's J.C. Martin. And we're just going to swing away here with a 16. And that's going to be a, oh, that's going to be two. He's a lefty. That's going to go to first base. And the first baseman, Clendenin, goes to second to Foley for one. Back to first. Three, six, three, double play. They turn it. That little X. After the 16 there, J.C. Martin hits into a double play. Ah, you know what? I'm thinking that that out on... Um, um, Brock Davis. <clears throat> it doesn't say out. It just says no double play. Okay. It doesn't say out. See? If it said out and then no double play, that would be a different story. All right. Uh, let's go to Pizarro now with two outs. The pitcher's up. Pitch room terrific. And that's a 34. That'll be a... Line out to center. So Pizarro hits it on the screws, but right to the center fielder. No runs, one hit. And uh, nobody left. We move to the bottom of the third inning. All right, Buddy Harrelson now. Leading off. And that's a 12, which is a fly ball center field. Drifting over and settling under it is Brock Davis, one down. Next is Tom Terrific. He's a right-handed hitter. A 54, that's going to be a 54 chart. Sky pop to the shortstop, plus potential errors and stuff. I don't play that, so I'm going to just play straight up, pop up to the shortstop. I'll do the errors because I play actual lineups. Don Hahn is up now with a 62, and that is going to be a strikeout to end the inning. So Hahn strikes out. Three up, three down, easy inning here in the third for Pizarro. And uh, we go to the top of the fourth, Donnie Kessinger. With a 36, and on Seaver's card, that's a blank, and on Seaver's card, 
That's an out, an uh, L6, so line to the shortstop, caught by Harrelson. So he rips one, but right at Harrelson. One down. Glenn Becker now, he's a leading hitter, a 63. That's a swing and a miss, and he goes down on strike. Seaver's fastball gets him. Billy Williams, lefty hitter, and a 64, and that'll be another K for a terrific. That's his fourth K of the game. Number four, we'll write it right there. No runs, no hits. We go to the bottom of the fourth, no score. He's got a pitcher's duel. Fall Classic Baseball. There's Wayne Garrett leading off against Pizarro. He lined out in his first at bat. 23 is a strikeout. Curveball gets Garrett. Tommy Agee now, who's singled. And a 56, and that'll be a K. Back to back K's. That's three in a row for Pizarro. And Don Clendenin, third 23, and that's a swing and a miss. He strikes out the side. Yes, he does. Juan Pizarro strikes out the side here in the bottom of the fourth at Shea Stadium. Joe Pepitone now. Pepitone, Hickman, and Popovich. And Seaver pitched to Pepitone the lefty. A 66, and that is a deep drive to right field. No doubt about that. Back goes AG to the track, to the wall, and that's gone. one nothing. Cubs against Terrific. Solo shot by Joe Pepitone, who hit 16 home runs and about 400 and some odd at-bats. Hickman is up next, and that's a 12, and that'll be a fly to right. A couple steps back is A.G., and he squeezes it for out number one. Here's Paul Popovich, switch hitter, batting lefty against the righty. Terrific, and this is oh, one to four. Nope, no walk. This is lined right back at Seaver, and he grabs it right out of the air for the second out. And... Uh, a 14, a 10, and that's lying to center field. And right there is Don Hahn. One run on one hit, the solo homer by Joe Pepitone, ex-Yankee. Um, and we move to the bottom of the fifth, one nothing. Here's Kenny Singleton with a 46, and that's going to be ballpark. And he has 13 home runs, so he has power, 46 and a 1. That's going to be a drive to center field off the bat of Singleton, and that's way back and gone. The game is tied. Kenny Singleton leading off the bottom of the fifth. Copies exactly what Pepitone did, leading off the top of the fifth and homers. Picks up another RBI. And the game is tied. 1-1 one, one here in the bottom of the fifth, Jerry Grody with a 21, and that'll be a rounder to third. Over to first, one down. Tim Foley now. Bats from the right side, playing second base today, a 35, and that'll be an out. Bouncer right back to the mound, picked up by Pizarro. Two down, and here's Buddy Harrison. And that's a 12, and that'll be a pop-up right side. Back goes the first baseman. In comes right field. Right field calls for it. And that's one run on one hit. Game is tied. We go to the top of the sixth inning. J.C. Martin. Pizarro and Kessinger. Martin gets on. We'll probably see a bunt. 66, and that is a drive. And that's one hop off the wall. Splits the outfielders. And J.C. Martin digging for second. Here's the throw. He's ahead of the throw. Stand-up double for J.C. Martin. Pizarro's going to square the bunt. And the bunt is good. Picked up by the catcher. Two to three. So the go-ahead run is at third base. The Mets are going to play the infield in now against Don Kessinger. You got the infielders. You got uh, Garrett at third. Clendenin at first, and then even up the middle, second and short, are playing in. Pitcher is always considered in, as well as catcher. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a 46 and a 7. That's foul back, a souvenir for a lucky fan. Here's Seaver again. And that's a 41, and that will be a 1-4 to four walk. It's a 15, so that's going to be a ground ball. Batting lefty, so that's going to be to first base. And that will be, with the infield in, past the diving first baseman for a base hit. And the Cubs have taken the lead. 
Don Kessinger. Bush has one pass to draw in an infield here to give the Cubs a 2-1 to one lead in the top of the sixth inning. Glenn Becker now going to try to hit and run. And that's a 5, and that's going to be bounced to the first base. That will move the runner to second. Played by Clint Denon. And now it's Billy Williams with the a, an insurance run at second base in scoring position. Here's a pitch from Seaver. And that's going to be a 32, which will be an out. Be a fly ball to left. Under it is Singleton, and that retires the side. But they do go ahead. Two to one. One run on two hits. The big hits. The big hit. Don Kessinger with the drawn in infield single past Clendenin at first. And the Cubs lead it two to one in the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the sixth is going to see Seaver leading off, and we'll let him bat. With a 46 and a 10, that's foul back. Pitch again from Pizarro, a 52, and that's going to be an error check, but that's really high number, that 14. Left fielder error, Billy Williams in left. His error rating is a 5, so he makes the catch. No error by Billy Williams. He makes the catch. One down, Don Hahn. Pitch to Hahn, 34. And that's an out. It's a fly to center this time. In a few steps is Brock Davis, and he makes the catch. Two down. And here's Wayne Garrett with a 42, and that's ball four. So a two-out walk. Garrett finds himself at first. Tommy Agee, the batter. And here's the pitch for Pizarro. And that's going to be a 26 against the lefty. It's a single, so this will be a single. What will happen with two outs? Garrett will go to third. And uh, Don Clendenin now. Here's a pitch. That's going to be a 32, and a 32 is an out. It's a fly ball, center field. Right there is Brock Davis. He makes the catch, and that retires the side. So the Mets had a runner at third and failed to capitalize on the situation. And we go to the top of the seventh inning. Two to one, Cubs. It is Tom Terrific versus Juan Pizarro. So far, Bizarro is ahead, 2-1. to one. Pepitone, who's hit a solo shot. And that's going to be a 33, and it is ripped to right for a base knock. So he is on at first, leading off the top of the seventh. Hickman, we're going to get him with a... Um, you know what? I'm going to try to butt here with Hickman. And that's going to be potentially a double play... And it is not. It's going to be a 1 6 feeler's choice. They get one back to first, not in time. Here's Popovich with a runner at first. We'll try to hit and run now with a six, and that's going to be a grounder right back to the mound. So, runner to second. Seaver throws over to first. Two down. Runner on second. And here's Brock Davis. Pitch from Terrific, and that's a 44, and that's going to be lined for a base hit. Will this score a run? And. Oh, there's going to be an assist opportunity here. Base hit to left field. An assist opportunity. The left fielder is, <clears throat> for the Mets, is Kenny Singleton. Singleton's left field rating is a 6, so he automatically throws out the runner at home. 7-2-2, two, two. and that's the third out. No runs, no runs, two hits, and we move. And one left, we move to the bottom of the seventh inning. Wow. Great throw by Kenny Singleton. He usually plays right, but he's playing left. All right. Oh, Kenny Singleton's up now. After that great throw, he's up against Juan Pizarro. Here's a pitch, and that's an, that's an 11, which will be a base on balls. Jerry Grody's next with a 56, and that should be a K, and it is. Should have maybe bunted or something with that. Uh, I'm going to try hitting a run now with uh, Foley. Oh, an 11, and that's going to be a fly out to left. He's not an A. 
So it's going to be a flat to left. Hustling back is Singleton. And here is Buddy Carlson. 56, and that'll be strike three, and that retires his side. So probably going to pull in the bottom of the eighth. That'll be Seaver coming up. We'll pull him. No runs, no hits, one left, and we move to the top of the eighth for terrific. J.C. Martin leading off with a 14, and that's an out. Bounce to first, taken by Clendenis. Steps on the bag ahead of Martin, one down. Next is Pizarro, and that's a 64. As a swing and a miss, he goes down on strikes. Two out here in the top of the eighth. Next is Don Kessinger. That's a 65, and that's a minus 10 home run, but that'll be an out automatic out. That's how I play it, and that is a bouncer to third to end the inning. No runs, no hits, none left. Move to the bottom of the eighth. We're going to see a pinch hitter here for the Mets. It's a 2-1 to one, uh, ball game. Cubs are up. And let's see who we have here to pinch hit. Get all the players with this game. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring in Ted Martinez, I believe. Yeah. Mm, yeah, we're going to bring in Ted Martinez to pinch hit. Let's make sure he's on the uh, on the roster at this point. Kessinger one, okay. Yep. Oh, wait. Martinez. No, he's gone from the roster. For goodness, I'm glad I looked. So we're going to just bring Aspromonte. Aspromonte will come up and hit. All right. And that's going to be a 51 and a 14. That's an error check. And a 51 says to the shortstop. And that's a play by, it's a high number. And that's a play by Kessinger. One away. Next is Han. And that's a 15, which will be line to right. Nice play by Hickman and right. Two down. And here's... Wayne Garrett, Wayne Garrett with a 16, and that is line to right again. Back-to-back -back lineouts to right field. That retires the side, no runs, no hits, none left. We move to the top of the ninth inning. Got a new pitcher for the Mets coming up. Let's see who we got. Give me a second, six on four, single. Gonna bring in Tug McGraw. He's gonna come in. A couple of lefties. Gonna roll to see what kind of stuff he has, and that's gonna be an, his A stuff. All right, here goes Glenn Becker against Tug McGraw. 35 and a 35 will be an out kind of an ounce of fly to left one down here in the top of the ninth receivers out of the ball game he's down by a run may pick up his sixth loss of the year i think he's got six fours four four or five losses now gotta look 23 in against billy williams pitch from mcgraw and that is a bounce to the first baseman clendenna who takes it himself here's Tug McGraw against Joe Pepitone, pitch. And that's a 63, which should be a strikeout. And it is, and that retires the side. Three up, three down for McGraw. No runs, no hits. And we go to Tommy Agee, Don Clendenin, and Kenny Singleton against Juan Pizarro. Got a couple pitchers up in the bullpen. See what happens. As long as he doesn't give up any hits, he can get a complete game. And he had a six complete games, so this could be one of them. And that's going to be a 41. I believe that's going to be a base on balls. And that's a walk. So Tommy A.G. walks. So we're going to pull Bizarro. And let's see who we can bring in here. Okay. 
And we're going to bring in, wow, they only have four relief pitchers that I can, that's weird. Really strange. Okay. Um, going to bring in Phil Regan. Cubs are bringing Phil Regan. Here he is. Gonna roll to see what kind of stuff he has. Let's bring him in. And his stuff is B stuff. There he goes. He's gonna face Don Clendenin. We're gonna bring in Crane Pool. Pinch hit. A two run shot here will win the game for the Mets. That would be nice to see. Here's a pitch from Regan. Oh boy, 25 against a righty. It's a single, and that's going to be bounced up the middle and through. And see what happens with AG at first. Um, w arm goes to, goes to a third. Brock Davis has a, an A arm, so runner will stop at second. So first and second here. For the Mets. And next up is Kenny Singleton. And uh, I'm going to let him hit. I should bunt, but I'm going to let him hit. If it was Grody or Foley or House, and I would bunt them. But he's a switch hitter, and I think he's batting lefty. I'm going to let him hit. Here's a pitch. He hopefully, doesn't hit to a double play, and he does not. He walks. That's going to load the bases. So the Mets here down by one. Now the bases loaded. Nobody out against Phil Regan. And the bottom of the ninth inning. Couldn't ask for a better game. Now I want to make sure that's getting some stuff is getting cut off here because I had to move it out of view. That's the problem. Yeah, I got it back in view. I slid stuff over. All right. So uh, we got bases loaded. Who's up? Jerry Grody. We're going to bring the infield in here for the Cubs. And here's the pitch. So Grody could win it. See if he does. Tommy Agee and Clendenin, they have to move on a grander because it's going to be automatic. Bases are loaded. Here goes. Here's a pitch. And that's a 32 now, 32. And that's going to be a drive over the center fielder's head. And that's going to be counted as a single. And uh, Regan did not have a good year in 71 with the 71 Cubs. He had a 1.6 whip, playing 48 games, 33 innings pitched. Saved eight, six or eight games, but uh, five and five, but uh, does not have good a good card at all. That 32 becomes a single, and Grody tie. Oh, wait, actually, that's going to be a double, and Grody wins the game. I thought it was tied. Nope, they, that's two runs come in on that double, and uh, Grody wins the ball game with a two-run double in the bottom of the ninth. Drives in three and four. Put a little circle around it. And he wins the game. Give him a little star. Jerry Grody comes up huge. He had a great season, by the way, in 71. Batted 270. Pretty good for a catcher. No power, but hit 25 doubles. And that's the ball game. You saw a great, interesting ball game there. Big runs in the ninth, bottom of the ninth inning. The Mets pull it out. They win the game by a score of 3-2. And let's look at the hits for the ah. – I usually use a, a, a green marker to – so I got two hits there. Three, four, five, six. So six hits. For the Cubs, two runs, six hits, and I don't believe any errors in this game. And uh, for the Mets, Mets had that big hit by Grody. Uh, they had a hit here by Cranepool. And they had a hit home run by Singleton. So they had one, two, three, four hits, that's all, but they still won the game. Three runs on four hits. Had a lot of walks. And uh, the win is going to go to McGraw. Seaver gets a no decision. McGraw went an inning.
And the loss is going to go to not uh, to Regan. Actually, is going to get the loss. He because he's responsible for the single to crane pool. So Regan gets the loss, and I'm going to input this, and that's the ball game. Now, the Mets. Let's look at their record now. The Mets are going to be. Mets are going to be uh, 59 and 45. 59 and 45. The Cubs are 58 and 48. So let's uh, quickly go over to the standings. I want to give you the standings. The Mets are kind of hanging on a couple of games behind the Pirates and. They're 2.5 games behind the Pirates, and we'll see what the Pirates do. I don't think the Pirates have played as of yet. Uh, no, they have not. Pirates have not played. They play later against the San Francisco Juan Marichal, who is 18-5, goes against Bob Moose for the Pirates. So we'll see what happens with the Pirates. The Mets can pick up a game here. I, oh, actually, the Pirates have a doubleheader in Candlestick. The second game is Doc Ellis, 7-8, versus Reberger, 2-1. So San Francisco does have a good record, 65 and 43. So they're gonna they're gonna uh, um, put up a fight for sure. They're not gonna lay down against the Pittsburgh Pirates, who are 62 and 44. So we got a game. Pittsburgh has uh, two games versus a powerful team, and that's a good thing for the Mets. And we'll see what happens. This is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, final score. Mets pull it out in the bottom of the ninth inning. Three to two, right? Three to two, and we're trying to creep that there a little bit. Actually, it was... Uh, yeah, it's three, three to two. There was two runs there. It was two to one, and they picked up two runs. So it's three to two. Final score. Just always double checking everything. Even though when I put it into the system at the end, it, it, it even triple checks for me. So that's it. Three to two. Take care.